be live with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is a busy day in our household. My wife is busy just organizing a ton of stuff. And so I've had to shift location. So if you hear a bit of packing in the back, you hear a bit of moving, <laughs> it's rather just organizing a ton of stuff. But thank you so much for being with me here today. Thank you for being live. It means the world to me that we have such an incredible, incredible community. And hey, I don't stop no matter what's going on. So I'm here with you. I'm here sharing how meditation is that habit that whatever's happening in your life, whatever challenges you've got going on, whenever you feel you don't have time to meditate, that's actually when we can get the most from it. And I know that as a fact, because whether I've had trauma in my life or challenges in my life, or I'm dealing with all sorts of different things in my life, even with opportunity, it's been meditation that has helped me the most. It's meditation that's helped me feel grounded. And so I'm always grateful when you all turn up every single day to learn these meditations with me, to share this time with me, and to have this experience. Thank you so much for being here. If you're on Facebook, press that share button right now so that so many more people can tune in to us. Instagram, take a screenshot of this right now and share it. Let everyone know that they can come and meditate with us. But I found that that meditation is that one habit, right? I think there's basically two things, meditation and exercise. Those are two things that we should never compromise on. Those are two things that we shouldn't negotiate within our life. Those should be non-negotiables, to meditate every, meditate every day and to exercise every day. And exercise was one of the ones that I took for granted for a long time, but I've seen that actually they, they help each other. So the more I meditate, the better I exercise, and the more I exercise, the more I wanna meditate. And as I've been sharing that very amazing statement in the Buddhist Tibetan tradition of what movement is for the body, stillness is for the mind. And if you think about it, you make your best decisions when you feel still. You feel the best when you feel still, right? We never feel good when we feel like we're running around or things are hectic. Like that's not when you, when you feel good. You feel good when things are really calm and, and composed. So we're gonna aim for that today. Again, it's amazing to have all of you here. We've got 5,000 people on Facebook. I'm expecting a lot more from that. Facebook, press that share button, everyone. Press the share button so so many more people can watch this afterwards. That's all you have to do. And on Instagram, let's get going. I know we can do better than this. I know we can get more people to meditate together. So let's do that. All right, let's get more of us on. Tridak, good to see you here as well. Thanks for being here. Who else is tuning in? Sona, day 15 with the family today. Love to your parents. Thanks for being here. Okay, awesome. Markella, hoping you're here. Nick, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Alberta, nice to see you. Kimmy, good to see you. Amazing. Okay, so we're going to get going. Facebook, I want you to press share once more. Instagram, I want you to stay tuned in. And here we go. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Amy says, thank you for being so honest and guiding with love. Thank you, Amy. That means the world to me. I really appreciate that. Cleo from Canada, thanks for being here. Becky, good to see you here. Lena, nice to see you here. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to put the music on. Close your eyes. <clears throat> and find a physical space of calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. Bring your awareness to calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. Whenever you have any anxiety or any stress or pressure, bring back your awareness to calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. This is your time, your space. I want you to visualize yourself 
at work, whether that's at your desk or working from home, however you're working. And I want you to visualize you putting nature and a plant at your desk so that every time you feel like you can't go outside, you look at this plant or flower or little tree, whatever you have, and you feel connected. You feel connected with nature because you have brought some nature into your home. And I want you to look out into the window. Look out of the window in your visualization and look as far as you can into the sky, into the trees, beyond the final home that you can see as far as you can see. Allow yourself to go outwards even if you can't go outside. Allow your eyes to flash forward into that space. At the same time, breathing in calm, balance, ease, stillness, and peace. The reason why we need to look into the distance as much as we can is so much of our life is spent looking at things so close. We're so close to our phones, we're so close to our screens, we're so close to our tablets that we need to push ourselves to look further, to challenge our minds to observe that which is further away. And next, I want you to visualize you placing a beautiful scent at your table. It could be a candle or a diffuser, but just grabbing a scent, putting it on your table so that every time you feel stress or anxiety, you can breathe it in. It can even be some flowers, just a fragrance that calms you. Smell it right now, a fragrance, whether it's eucalyptus or lavender that calms you. Breathe it in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Feeling that calm, that balance, that ease, that peace. <clears throat> home to think about what music you need to play more. Is it calming meditation music like this? Is it one of your favorite songs from your childhood that your parents used to play? Do you need to dance a little more? I want you to visualize yourself playing that music and allowing yourself to dance freely, to sing along, to feel that ecstasy every day. Choose a sound for where you work, a sound that you fall asleep to, and a sound that you wake up to. Choose a scent that you use when you're stressed. And choose a sight. 
Choose a sight. Do you want to wake up to a powerful quote? Do you want to sleep to a powerful quote? It's so important to see paintings and art that inspire us. Change your desktop background on your phone. Change, sorry, on your laptop. Change your cover on your phone. Visualize yourself making all these changes and experience for a moment how different your day is going to be. See yourself smiling, joyful, dancing, calm, rested. And realize that these simple moments can make such a big difference. Now visualize yourself on a walk outside. And for the first time in your area that you've lived in for a long time, pay attention to what's on your left and what's on your right. Pay attention to the ground beneath your feet and the sky above your head. Observe. Become deeply observant of what is around you. Go on a walk around your area and see what you notice and what memories and thoughts arise. Visualize yourself looking out at a view. It could be the view of a city, the view of scenic fields, whatever calms you. Visualize yourself high up where you can look out into the distance, looking far and wide and recognizing that sometimes when we're too up close with our lives, everything feels claustrophobic. Everything feels like we're squashed in. We experience cabin fever. But when we look out, we look into the future, we look into the distance, we allow ourselves to recognize that there is so much space. We may have been inside right now for two months, but we've had two decades in the past full of energy and there's so many more years ahead let's not live so squashed in the moment let's recognize that there is so much more to live for and look toward breathing in calm balance ease, stillness, and peace. And in your own time, at your own pace, breathe in for a count of four, hold for four, and breathe out for four. Go. Place your left palm on your stomach to help you. When you breathe in, feel your stomach come out, then hold. And when you breathe out, feel your stomach go in. Four, four, four. Notice how that pattern aligns your breath and your mind and your body. Make the numbers your companion and guide. Do that three more times. 
And when you're ready, in your own time, at your own pace, only when you're ready, you can bring back your awareness and open your eyes. And everyone on Facebook, share this video once more. If you enjoyed this meditation, share it. Press that like and press that love button. But please share it and pass it along. Everyone on Instagram, how was that for you? We were in meditation for about 13 minutes there. How was that for you on Facebook and Instagram? Andrea Martin says, thank you for the experience. Jennifer says, I love this. Thank you, Jennifer. Malish says, Mel Jenkins, sorry, says, thank you. Radhika, good to see you here. Heather's, Heather's happy habits. We're so excited for our video to come out. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining in. Isabel says, amazing, awesome. Janet says, I know people in the state of OH, uh, sorry, my US knowledge is terrible. I won't know. Ohio, I'm guessing. Had to go back to work today. This will be good for them with all the fear. I know I shouldn't be typing right now, but just can't focus today. I appreciate that. No worries. You can type right now. Kira says, thank you for taking time out of your day to offer this free service to those in need of some peace. You don't have to do this yet, you do. You help strangers find peace with themselves. That kindness is truly appreciated. Kira, that means so much to me, honestly. That, that is so kind of you to say. And even if it's not what I have to do, it's something I love to do and it, it means the world to me. Melina says, my mother used to tell me, Melina, go outside, your problems will seem smaller once you go outside. She was so right. Thank you for this reminder, Jay. I haven't thought about this memory for a while. Thank you. She put it so beautifully, better than I ever could. Awesome. Okay, Instagram. It's great to have you here. I'm going to do something. So Facebook, thank you so much for tuning in today. You can, of course, stay here. I'm going to go invite some people onto Instagram as I've been doing every single day, just seeing who's here and surprising a few people. So let's see who I'm gonna surprise today or who's online right now. Let's have a look. Okay, let's find some people. All right, looking around. Request now if you want me to Instagram you in. Request now and I wanna see who wants to come in online. All right, let's have a go. He's our first, first person. Let's see. Golden Heart, I believe, is the name. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Jay. Hey. Hi. Where Thank are you? Thank you so much for accepting. I'm in Zurich. I'm in Switzerland. Oh, amazing. And how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired, actually. Um, just of the What have you been up to? Um, we're still in quarantine. Um, so I'm, I'm here following your your meditations daily and I'm actually in your passion program as well. Oh, amazing. And I've been doing that recently. I'm trying to find my passion and what I'm good at and so on. So, yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'm happy to meet you. How, yes. how, is, how are you finding the meditations? I, I find it very helpful to just calm down. I don't know. Um, it's We have the time right now. That's true. And I always said that time is so important, but also it's energy. Mm -hmm. And I just found myself that I didn't find the energy to, I don't know, to do things and to keep going. And it, it really gives me, um, yeah, positive vibes. Oh, that's so amazing. thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. And thank you for doing the passion <laughs> program. It's really yeah. important to me. And I think it's such a good time to try and discover your passion right now because, yeah. you know, like you said, we have time and we can experiment and we realize that we can have so many more things going on and we need to in our lives. And yeah. uh, thank you for taking that step. I really appreciate it. I appreciate awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you for providing it to, to everyone. And I, I can recommend it. Um, oh, that's yeah, very kind. That's, yeah. That's so very kind. Just We're, use the time now. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to go surprise someone else, but thank okay. you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Love to Switzerland. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's find someone else. Okay. That's fine. Who are we bringing on? Looking for more people.
Okay, here we go. Bring one more person on today. Let's see if David comes on. Hey, David. Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Uh, Where are you? So, I'm in Madrid. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And how are you doing? Have you been joining in on the meditation? You want to see it? Yeah, go for it. That's beautiful. We can, all, we can all look into the distance as I was just talking about. That's Madrid. I'm coming every day here, upstairs to the rooftop, to follow your meditation. It's amazing. Thank you very much no, for your you. time and red, your energy, your love. Uh, and yes, it's, it's been hard here in Madrid. It's one of the hardest lockdowns in Europe, and it's a blessing your your meditation and your energy. So thank you very much. No, thank you, David, and thank you for giving us a beautiful view of Madrid because it's just what I was talking about the meditations to look into the distance. So we can all look at the view. Beautiful view of, of Madrid here right now. So yeah. yeah. So sending you love for Madrid and yeah, see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, man. Take care. So Bye, you too. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome everyone. So I'll see you tomorrow in the same time, same place, 9 30 a.m. Pacific. That's 12 30 p.m. Eastern. That's 5 30 p.m. in the UK. That's 11 p.m. in India. Don't mess it tomorrow. Bring your family, bring your friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Instagram.